Hello, welcome to the Robert Saviola Show. My name is Eric Polanski. I'll be filling in for Robert today. As far as I know, he'll be back next weekend. So uh, I'd like to hear about what ha- what happened in Florida with him while he was down there. He probably won't even talk about it. But anyways, uh, today's show is going to be focused on uh, Ben Wassel. Ben Wassel is uh, the, the uh, man convicted of some charges that had to do with the New York Safe Act, uh, maybe a year, year and a half ago. Um, there's a few things that we'd like to do today, and one of them is to talk about what we can do, uh, you and I, as far as Ben's case goes, on his behalf, uh, for you know, not only on his behalf, but on all of our behalf. Uh, today's show is going to focus on um, jury nullification, and that is a, a step that we can take to uh, nullify this bogus law. Uh, To begin with, I would like to say that there are some gun associations in the neighborhood. There is uh, the GOA, the Gun Owners of America. There's the NRA, SCOPE, and I'm sorry if I'm missing any, maybe the Second Amendment group or whatever. Uh, I want to know where where you guys are on this. What's going on? I mean, here's Ben Wasso. He's a hero. He's a veteran. He's a citizen. He's a gun owner. And I don't hear a peep really from any of these organizations and associations that really have the prime time to take this. And not only just on a local level, this is a national story. Let me tell you something. If this goes wrong here for the citizens of this country in this state, we're all we're all in trouble, okay? This is one of those situations where you hang together or you hang separately. I don't know what's going on, but I'm sure that some of these organizations have some attorneys on staff. If anything is going on, I would think that you guys would jump in there and help Ben out because I'll tell you what, he's afraid. He's afraid by the system. He's afraid when he looks around and he sees that hardly anybody up is showing showing up to support him. There's there's not much he can do with the situation he has with the lawyer and stuff like that. But uh, what? let me ask you, what is the point of joining these groups if nothing is accomplished? We're watching legislation go by right now, and believe me, if this goes down, there's more and more and more, and pretty soon they're going to be on your doorstep. Where are you guys going to be then? No one's going to be left to protect you. This is a dangerous time for gun owners. And just so you know, not everyone who shoots is a hunter. Guns are to protect protect people. We've actually went out and uh, got a hold of Ben, and we, uh, we counseled him. And so we know he's afraid. He's told us, let me tell you something. Ben is a humble man. He's a good man. He was very grateful for what we offered him, which was free counsel. Ben right now is in dire straits. He could use some money. He could use some feet. He could use some mouths. He could use some hands. He could use your hands. Okay? Hand out pamphlets. Tell him about jury nullification. Please do something. Ben is a little afraid to take our counsel because it's not what he's been coached, because he's been led up in this, brought up in this system to trust. Trust the lawyer. Trust the system. It'll all work out for you. And his case is a point, perfect point to show you that that's not true. And may not, Ben may not even be able to defend himself. He may not even be able to open up his mouth to defend himself because of his counsel. The bottom line is this is a lawful sale that Ben made. And these charges were filed prior to the uh, enactment of this SAFE Act. There are some breaking news and Once again, it seems the media got it wrong because we just found out that Ben's not even charged under the SAFE Act. So what what are they promoting the SAFE Act with Ben's case for? They're doing it because they know that they can get a conviction because he'll be compromised to plea down. And there's your conviction. Somebody please step up for the man. Somebody do something. If you're not given a radio station to 
beg for people to help, then go help. This is what I'm doing today. This is what we all ought to be doing every day because it's all of our skins on the line right now. Well, enough of me. I have a guest with me. He's a member of the free group. He is in the political division. His name is Jeff Goodwin. And I got to say that I'm really impressed with Jeff. Since I've joined the group, I've seen amazing things that he's put out there for the public. Uh, Jeff, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Eric. My pleasure. Jeff, uh, we did a gun conference a while back, and your topic was jury nullification. Uh, this is a step that we have left because this is where we're at. This is the route that's going. We all can play a role even during the trial, and I'd like you to explain how and when, where, and why. Sure. Uh, jury nullification uh, is a common law principle, and it's one that uh, is deeply rooted in this nation's founding. In fact, it predates the Constitution. It was um, you know, used uh, in colonial times, and, and I can get into some of those examples. But essentially, jury nullification is the power, and it is the right, and I would say the duty, of each member of the jury panel to vote their conscience in terms of not only the facts or the evidence being presented, but also the law itself. So therefore, if the law they deem is unconstitutional, if they see it as being unjust, uh, immoral, unethical, you name it, they can, in you know the teeth of the system and probably the judge's instructions contrary to the wise, that they can only judge the evidence in the case, they can in fact choose to exercise the most powerful vote we have. You know, voting at the voting booth doesn't seem to accomplish much. But as a member of a jury panel, you are free to vote your conscience. You are answerable only to God Almighty, and you can choose to cast that all-important vote of not guilty um, in, in any case and for any reason you so choose. Okay, so in Ben's case, he's going to have a jury of his peers that he's not going to be able to um, speak to. Ben is going to be in a, in a tough spot with his mouth basically duct taped because really it seems to me, Jeff, that the the system is rigged against him to to conquer him, okay? As far as you have a judge and a prosecutor that are going to go into that jury room and, like you said, say, look it, this is the facts. This is what you need to judge this case on, the facts. Now, the facts, the facts that they're talking about are their own laws and codes, okay, which change over time and in you know, from one state to another, and and everything like that is temporary. There are there are uh, laws that are not temporary, and that's you know, don't murder, you know, don't steal. Uh, th those are those are there for good. And uh, Ben didn't do any of those, so here here he is in a case where he's innocent, but he's going to be proven guilty because of the system. Right. You know, my standard for this is, and, and everyone might have a different um, belief, but I say no victim, no crime. And if no one has been harmed by a law or a statute that is on the books, therefore the law is unjust, and the person being charged under that law or statute is not guilty of actually having committed a crime. They have done no harm to a person or their property, and therefore... You know, you're right. The, the whole system is going to be stacked against him. Um, the judge will give um, orders to the jury panel, and it's going to be intimidating. And, um, you know, they're going to have to arm themselves with the truth. They're going to have to walk in there with this information. They're going to have to stand their ground, and they're going to have to do what is right in this case. And that is to, you know, render a not guilty vote. And um, another thing that you brought up, his defense counsel won't be allowed to address this in the courtroom. And, you know, as an attorney of the bar, he'll be sanctioned if he even tries to skirt around it. The judge will consider him to be in contempt of court. Anything that he mentions about jury nullification will be dismissed. You know, the judge will issue stern warnings uh, to ignore that. And, uh, again, it's up to the jury to, to make the right decision. Well, folks, here you go. 
it's on a platter for you. We'll get back with more details on the jury nullification in a moment. Thanks for listening to the Robert Saviola Show on WBEN. You know what they say about Buffalo? Everything's 20 minutes away. 874-9050. Buffalo Hypnosis. 874-9050. That's 874-9050. Call us now. <laughs> Welcome back to the Robert Saviola Show. You're listening to Eric Polanski. I'm in the studio with Jeff Goodwin from the Free Group. Uh, I just want to correct myself. I overstepped and said that uh, Ben would be found guilty. And I have to say that I don't even really necessarily believe that he's going to be found guilty because uh, there's an opportunity for us. Look at uh, Robert boasts 10,000 listeners and you know overnight workers and people that are getting up early or going to bed late. You're out there. I know you are, and, and you hear you hear what we're saying. Let me tell you that of this jury, 10,000 listeners, there's going to be either somebody out there who will be on the jury or somebody that knows somebody on the jury that can get them this jury nullification information. That's how you can play a role, okay? Um, you know, this is uh, this is may seem early in the game, but it's really not. When they come for your guns, I mean, that's the last thing they have left to do, okay? So... It's pretty late in the game. Uh, Jeff, uh, as far as the jury selection goes, that is coming up. Can you give us some dates? Sure. Uh, They are summoning for a grand uh, jury March 4th. That's Tuesday next week starting at 10 a.m. at the Chautauqua County Courthouse in Mayville, New York. Um, The grand jury will decide whether or not to indict Ben um, if there be one person out there that chooses to not find him guilty of the charges, that will result in an acquittal, essentially, because it will be a hung jury trial, and um, the prosecution cannot move forward to bring these charges to bear against an innocent man. You know, it's uh, the people of the state of New York versus Ben Wassel, and that's so ironic because... You know, whatever happens in New York City, we know that here in western New York, it's a totally different area, different culture. Everything about it is different. I mean, the only thing we have in common with New York is we're in the same state. However, the people of the state of New York that I've seen at Ben's trial, few there were, they were all for Ben. I don't see anybody that is the people of the state of New York convicting Ben. I do not see it. I see a government convicting Ben. I don't see the people. And I don't see the prosecutor representing the people. I see him representing the state. And maybe that's just my naivety. Maybe that's my inexperience in a court or whatever have you. However, from, from a, from a simp- simpleton's point of view, it's the other way around. And, you know, people from the state of New York, where are you? Jeff, where where can they be? You know, I would recommend that the listeners out there educate themselves. And um, there are a couple organizations that I like to point people to. Uh, they are out on the front lines, um, you know, promoting uh, jury nullification. And the first one is FISA.org, and that is the Fully Informed Jury Association.org. Uh, a wonderful organization, fully dedicated to promoting um, this this great truth. Um, you can visit their website. They have videos up there. You can learn more about the topic. They have articles written by experts, you know, attorneys, ex-attorneys. Um, just a, a wealth of resource to to arm yourself and um, prepare yourself um, for, for what you're going to face in, in the courtroom because it can be pretty intimidating. Anything on that website downloadable? Uh, they do have flyers on there, um, you know, just a, a basic summary of, of what I've discussed here and, and going into more detail. Um, you know, you can pat, print them out, pass them out to friends. Um, like you said, Eric, someone's listening who knows someone who uh, lives in the area or might, in fact, have received a summon already. So, you know, it's it's now your duty, it's incumbent upon you to to share this information that you're hearing today. Well, you know, we uh we try to be current and updated on our website at free-group.com uh especially with Ben stuff and I have to say that uh it is 
not easy to really get the real facts because everything seems, uh, it depends on what day you listen to the news or what day you're reading the paper or, or what paper you're reading because the facts just seem to keep on changing as we just found out about uh, about him not really being charged under the SAFE Act, yet they're using it, okay? Uh, well, listen, th the way it is now, Ben is in dire straits. Financially, this is costing him an arm and a leg, and, and whatever my opinion or anyone else's opinion of his counsel, his attorney, uh, needs to get paid. If anyone is willing to uh, step up to the plate and help Ben with his, with his uh, lawyer fees, that would be great. Uh, you can reach out to Ben at free-group.com, and uh, and we can get in, you can get in contact with us. We can help you contact him or however it's going to go down to get him some money to help him out. Um, Jeff, as, as far as the jury nullification goes, uh, I know that I've seen handbooks around, a little pocket-sized white handbooks, uh, about uh, I don't know how many pages, but that's pretty much all somebody needs to get a general grasp of the information that that you're you're providing here okay but what's going to happen is that these these jurists will be um strong-armed and bullied into forsaking jury nullification and fitting into line with the crowd maybe the other jurors who have other motives or i don't know okay but if you are a juror that for that case, then you can explain this to them. And even if they don't care and they don't want to understand, you can stop this all by yourself. You can be the hero for the nation. All right? That's a big deal. Because if this, whichever way it goes, this is going to make national news. It already has. And Ben, this is Western New York. This is, this is your territory. They're coming for him. They're coming for all of us sometime. And we need to stand up for each other. And maybe not shoot back, but hey... I'll tell you what, a lot of these breaking down doors and stuff like that, <laughs> yeah, I would say I'm worried about those people too because they're breaking the law by breaking your door down, okay? Warrants, warrants, okay? Probable cause, whatever the situation, it all can be made up at this point. I mean, there's no stake in the game for, for them to be truthful or honest with us about anything anymore, all right? Because they're guilty. They are guilty. We need to recognize that and unite. The free group is a great way to unite. Jeff, you've been a member longer than I have. Let me ask you this, a little bit off topic here. What has the free group done for you? Well, the free group has afforded patriot-loving Americans, those who have reverence for the Constitution and our respect for God-given rights and you know the traditions that this nation was founded on, to network to be around like-minded people who don't just sit around and, and complain about the issues, but who try to, you know, be proactive, be part of the solution um, in reversing the stem of tyranny that we're being flooded with in this nation today. Well, a amen to that, Jeff. I mean, the these people, Jeff here before, I got to say, I'm really proud of you. You're a young guy. You're, do you're doing fine. You're doing right. You're active. You uh, you ought to be proud of this, the the uh, the progress that you've made in your life and that and that you've helped others make. I mean, you are uh, you are an icon for us in the group. Um, you know what you say. You speak with a soft voice voice, but it, it really it really weighs a lot. And you know, I'm really pleased that you stepped into the studio with me today. I'm I'm glad that we're able to talk about this because, as Jeff said, that the jury selection is coming up real soon i think it's tuesday march 4th 10 in uh at 10 a.m in at the mayville courthouse yeah chautauqua county chautauqua courthouse county courthouse in Correct. mayville okay now listen uh you know we will be represented there we're a western new york group we have people all throughout the counties and uh and we'll be there you know if you mention the the free group uh i'm sure you'll get a few smiles and probably some jury handbooks to hand out yourself so, uh, you know, think about doing that. Other than that, we also have uh, a Common Core event coming up uh, Thursday, March 6th at 6 p.m. at uh, the Amherst Branch Audubon Library on John James Parkway. Uh, we're going to be uh, putting together a game plan to uh, follow through on this uh, stalling of the Common Core 
in the uh, in the school districts, and we're going to take advantage of that time and and try to make sure that it, it doesn't come back because uh, really uh, enough is enough, right, Jeff? I agree. Amen. Amen to that. You're listening to the Robert Saviola Show. Eric Polanski with Jeff Goodwin in the studio on WBEN. We'll be right back with Robert. Thank you. Oh. 